Dayton detectives tell us they are getting closer to solving a murder more than a decade after that crime took place. We take a closer look in this Crime Stoppers cold case report. Naisha Nettles was violently killed August 14, 1999 at her Neal Avenue apartment. She was 19 years old. Since then, her family has been looking for answers. It's been awful. You know, sleepless nights, endless days. We still look forward to come around the corner, but we know she never will. But she's dear to our heart. That interview with Naisha's aunt was back in 2006. Seven years later, police say something has triggered another look at the files. We don't close a case, we inactivate it. We might not be working it right at that moment, but all it takes is a phone call. Detective Patty Tackett can't go into details, but says they're learning more about cold cases, even so many years after the crimes. Things have changed, okay, the process has changed, the way that we do the evidence has changed, and what we can get off of evidence has changed. Detective Tackett says they want to hear from anyone who has information about Naisha Nettle's killing, even if they've been interviewed before about this case. So, yes, do we have information in regards to this? Do we have persons of interest that we have been looking at? Yes, yes, we do. But I don't want that to deter people from calling in to make assumptions that we do know because maybe you'll, what you do know is the piece that we're looking for. People do remember. Pe people absolutely do remember. All right, so if you know anything that could help detectives solve this case, call 222-STOP. That's 222-7867. You can also submit your tip online at MiamiValleyCrimestoppers.com or text your tip to TIP400 followed by your message to CRIMES or 274-637. Earn a cash reward, and because of the software Crime Stoppers uses, no one will ever know your name.